Call Rail keyword tracking can be insanely beneficial to know where your calls are coming from and the actual source of the calls, right? Especially if you're doing search engine marketing, whether you're running ads on Google Ads, even Microsoft Ads, or just doing search engine optimization and getting your website ranked at the top of Google and other search engines. You really want to know when somebody calls you, like, what keyword did they search for, right? And with CallRail, you can actually see that data. So we've got an example here. It's just a little example so that I don't have to spend a ton of time blocking out all this sensitive information. But you can see here that there's three calls that have come through from Google Ads in this example. And they've come from uh, different keywords here. So like car interior cleaning, uh, detailing near me. So obviously this is for an auto detailing company. And what's nice is we can start to see like a trend here. So we're, we're starting to see two people have called from car interior cleaning. And if we were booking both of these jobs and they ended up being worth a lot of money, uh, you know, we might look at considering going a little bit deeper into that keyword. So maybe we would try to rank the page better and and get higher in the organic search results and then put some more budget towards this keyword on Google Ads. And with CallRail, you can record the calls. You can um, you can even you can even in CallRail mark whether it was a good a good lead or a bad lead. And then as you start to collect all this data, you can come back through and see, okay, based on all the phone calls that have been made to my company, what keywords are actually generating the most sales in terms of generating calls that deliver actual sales, which is what matters at the end of the day, right? If you have a bunch of people calling you for something that you're, and it's not, those, those calls aren't turning into sales for your company, then you're probably going to need to make some changes. <laughs> so uh, there's a, a number of different uh, things that you have to set up. I won't go into the, the full setup today. I'll make another video to show uh, exactly how. And uh, CallRail even has step-by-step -step tutorials showing you how to set all this stuff up. Uh, but I, I like to just give uh, kind of an overview of the the high level reasoning why you would do this and the benefit of why you would do it because people aren't going to take the time to sit down and set all this stuff up if we don't realize the benefit to it, right? Like I was uh, resistant to setting this up for my own businesses for a long time and eventually I just realized that if I don't have the right tracking, then I can't make improvements to my marketing and to my sales and to my business growth and all of that. So that's when I started getting more and more into marketing. So I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of how this stuff works and that the extreme benefit to it. And then I'll make some videos in the future showing you because there's multiple steps to setting all this up. It's different for Google Ads versus organic. But from a high level perspective, essentially all you need to do is set up a little piece of code. It's a JavaScript code and a number pool. So you generate a pool of like four or five numbers and then a code that you inject into the code on your website up in the header. And every time somebody loads the page on your site, it's going to give them a tracking number. So these are different tracking numbers that have obviously been blurred out here. Uh, but each visitor to your website will get a different tracking number. And then CallRail, based on all the data they collect, is able to determine where that person came from, what keyword they clicked on, which is just, I think, really awesome. <laughs> so then it could even report this data back to like Google Ads, for instance. So now Google Ads knows we got a keyword or a, a conversion from a phone call on this keyword. And then we can see what ad was converting on that keyword. And so this piece of data, this tool right here, CallRail, the way it connects all this data, it's like the missing link that you can't really see when somebody calls your business because with a regular phone call, you can't get hardly any data at all other than looking at your call logs and just seeing how many calls you've gotten each month. But even then, you don't know if the calls are coming from, like, if you ask somebody, hey, where did you call us? Like, where did you find us from? 
somebody's just going to say Google. They're not going to say Google Ads or Google Organic or Google Maps, right? They're just going to say Google. And some people don't even realize that Bing is not Google. So they'll even say, um, you know, I, I did a search on Google and they were really on like Bing or Yahoo or something. So knowing exactly where your leads are coming from to the source, meaning whether it's Google ads, Microsoft ads, Facebook ads, and then the, well, keyword is not going to show up on Facebook ads, but no, for search marketing, knowing the actual keyword that people searched to get to the point where they called you is invaluable information to have. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of um, you know, keyword tracking and call rail or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.